The Integrated Ocean Drilling Program was an international marine research program. The program used heavy drilling equipment mounted aboard ships to monitor and sample sub-seafloor environments. With this research, the IODP documented environmental change, earth processes and effects, the biosphere, solid earth cycles, and geodynamics. The program began a new 10 year phase with the International Ocean Discovery Program from the end of 2013. Scope <laughs> 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 The Integrated Ocean Drilling Program brought together scientists from different countries and scientific disciplines to conduct investigations of the Earth deep below the seafloor. IODP gave scientists the opportunity to recover geological records and rock samples, investigate and document ocean and climate change through time, explore the presence of primitive life below the seafloor, Verify remote, near seafloor observatories. Gain understanding of how tectonic plates move and recycle themselves into the deep mantle. Topic: <laughs> Focus on Earth. IODP was conceived in 2003 as a 10-year Earth science and research program. IODP scientists were drawn from universities and institutes located all across its member countries. Two previous scientific ocean drilling programs, Deep Sea Drilling Project and Ocean Drilling Program, generated abundant information about Earth's dynamic nature including tectonic processes, ocean circulation, climate change, continental rifting, and ocean basin formation. With IODP, scientific ocean drilling continued to provide scientists with in situ studies of critical processes related to Earth's short term change and long term variability. IODP provided diverse drilling resources to meet specific requirements of each planned drilling project. IODP focused on ocean basins to study the interdependent processes with particular emphases on factors controlling climate change, the vast circulation of fluids within Earth's crust, the nature of life on and within Earth, and the dynamics of tropospheric formation and recycling. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Navigating the route to discovery. Scientific ocean drilling represented the longest-running and most successful international collaboration among the Earth sciences. Scientific ocean drilling began in 1961 with the first sample of oceanic crust recovered aboard the CUS-1, a modified U.S. Navy barge. American author John Steinbeck, also an amateur oceanographer, documented Project Mohol for Life magazine. Topic. Legacy programs The Deep Sea Drilling Project DSDP, established in June 1966, operated the Glomar Challenger in drilling and coring operations in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans, as well as in the Mediterranean and Red Seas. The Challenger's coring operations enabled DSDP to provide the next intellectual step in verifying the hypothesis of plate tectonics associated with seafloor spreading, by dating basal sediments on transects away from the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. In June 1970, the Challenger's DSDP engineers devised a way to replace worn drill bits and then re-enter boreholes for deeper drilling while in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of New York, in 10,000 feet meters of water. This required the use of sonar scanning equipment and a large-scale re-entry cone. Process-oriented Earth studies continued from 1985 until 2003 aboard the JOIDES resolution, which replaced the Glomar Challenger in January 1985 as DSDP morphed into the Ocean Drilling Program The JOIDES resolution is named for the 200-year-old HMS resolution which explored the Pacific Ocean and Antarctica under the command of Captain James Cook. 
the ocean drilling program contributed significantly to increased scientific understanding of Earth history, climate change, plate tectonics, natural resources, and geohazards. ODP discoveries included validation of fluids circulating through the ocean floor, the formation of gigantic volcanic plateaus at phenomenal rates unknown today, natural methane frozen deep within marine sediments as gas hydrate, a microbial community living deep within oceanic crust, climate change cycles. IODP funding agencies National consortia and government funding agencies supported IODP science and drilling platform operations. Participation in IODP was proportional to investment in the program. <laughs> Lead agencies Two lead agencies formally established IODP. In April 2003, officials from Japan's Ministry of Education, Culture, Sports, Science and Technology and the U.S. National Science Foundation signed a Memorandum of Understanding in which they agreed to form and jointly operate the Integrated Ocean Drilling Program. Japan's interest in the post-ODP era was signified when Ocean Drilling in the 21st Century OD21 was established in 1994. OD21 included plans for construction of a state-of-the-art, riser-equipped scientific drilling vessel capable of reaching Earth's mantle. A series of international meetings explored how this goal could be integrated with other scientific objectives expressed by scientific communities in the United States, Europe, and the People's Republic of China. An IODP office at NSF was responsible for administering commingled funds from NSF, MEXT, and other IODP members to support IODP science operating costs. Topic. Contributing member The European Consortium for Ocean Research Drilling was established in December 2003 with 13 European countries to represent the European contribution in IODP. The consortium grew into a collaborative group of 17 European nations Austria, Belgium, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Iceland, Ireland, Italy, the Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland and the United Kingdom and Canada that together comprise an IODP funding agency. Working alongside Japan and the United States, ECORD provided the IODP scientific community with access to mission-specific platforms, which chosen to fulfill specific scientific objectives. These platforms have limited space on board for labs and scientists, and require an onshore science meeting to describe, process, and analyze the sediment samples collected immediately following a drilling expedition. Topic. Associate members In April 2004, the People's Republic of China joined IODP as an associate member through sponsorship of China's Ministry of Science and Technology most. China's participation in IODP has given the Chinese marine science community a new impetus and increased their opportunity for deep-sea research. Chinese scientists participated in research expeditions and represent China's interests in the IODP science advisory structure. The Republic of Korea joined IODP as an associate member in June 2006 through the sponsorship of the Korea Institute of Geoscience and Mineral Resources South Korea's Memorandum of Understanding with the lead agencies created the Interim Asian Consortium. Ministry of Earth Sciences MOS, Government of India joined the IODP in 2008 as an associate member. Since then, the National Centre for Antarctic and Ocean Research NCAOR, GOA has been designated by India to look after all IODP-related activities in India, IODP India. 
In this direction, an international workshop on IODP drilling in Indian Ocean was organized in Goa during October 17–18, 2011. The workshop was co-hosted by IODP Management International and ANZIC. Hundreds of international earth and ocean scientists participated in IODP on a voluntary basis. Participation took many forms, submission of a drilling proposal, sailing on an expedition, participation in an advisory capacity, attendance at a planning workshop or topical symposium. The program's central management office, IODP Management International, coordinated an integrated work plan between and among all IODP organizational partners. An annual program plan was written each fiscal year and included objectives and tasks necessary for drilling vessel operation, from science coordination to publications, data management, and outreach. Uniquely IODP IODP distinguishes itself from its legacy programs by employing multiple drilling technologies, platforms and science, drilling operators to acquire sediment and rock samples and to install monitoring instrumentation beneath the seafloor. Samples and data collected during IODP drilling expeditions are available to scientists and teachers on an open access basis, once members of the expedition parties have completed their initial studies. Topic. Planning IODP drilling, science advisory structure Topic. Drilling proposal process Drilling proposals originated with science proponents, often researchers in geology, geophysics, microbiology, paleontology, or seismology. Once submitted to IODP, the proposal was carefully evaluated by the Science Advisory Structure SAS, a group of technical review panels. Only those proposals judged as the greatest value based on scientific and technical merit were scheduled for implementation. SAS panels provided advice on drilling proposals to both proponents and IODP management. Drilling proposals were accepted twice a year, in April and October, and could be submitted to IODP electronically via their website. The science plan A 10-year program plan called the Initial Science Plan guided IODP investigation. Specific scientific themes were emphasized in the ISP Investigation into the deep biosphere and subseafloor life Climate change Solid earth cycles, and Geodynamics as described in the ISP, IODP sought to develop better understandings of the earthquake generating zone beneath convergent continental margins, the complex microbial ecosystem that exists beneath the seafloor, the nature of gas hydrates that lie beneath continental margins, climate history, extreme climates, rapid climate change. The role of continental breakup in sedimentary basin formation The formation of volcanic rifted margins and oceanic plateaus through time, and Drilling to Earth's mantle to examine and monitor a complete section of oceanic crust tools critical to these goals included a riser-equipped drilling vessel, a riserless vessel, additional platforms suited to mission-specific expeditions, enhanced downhole measurement devices, and long-term monitoring instrumentation. Topic. Engineering proposals An engineering proposal submission process, initiated in April 2007, facilitated the acquisition of existing or latent technology to be used in IODP operations. Topic. Science and drilling operators 
Drilling operations were conducted and managed by three IODP implementing organizations. United States Implementing Organization USIO, carried out expeditions on the riserless drilling vessel JOIDES Resolution. ECORD Science Operator ESO, managed mission specific expeditions on various platforms. Center for Deep Earth Exploration CDEX, managed operations aboard the riser equipped drilling vessel Chikyu. Each drilling expedition was led by a pair of co chief scientists, with a team of scientists supported by a staff scientist. Each implementing organization provided a combination of services, technical, operational, and financial management, logging, laboratory, core repository, data management, and publication. Although each implementing organization was responsible for its own platform operations and performance, its science operations was funded by the lead agencies. The operators conducted the following expeditions during the IODP. Topic. Drilling vessels and platforms IODP employed two dedicated drilling vessels, each sponsored by a lead agency and managed by the respective implementing organization. JOIDES Resolution, Riserless The U.S.-sponsored drilling vessel was operated throughout the ocean drilling program and the first phase of IODP. The vessel then underwent a rebuild, allowing for increased laboratory space, improved drilling, coring, and sampling capacity, and enhanced health, safety, and environmental protection systems on board. Chikyu, riser equipped Japan began building a state-of-the-art scientific drilling vessel for research in 2001 with the intent of reaching Earth's mantle and drilling into an active seismogenic zone. The resulting drilling vessel, Chikyu Japanese for Planet Earth, features a riser drilling system, a dynamic positioning system, and a high-density mud circulation system to prevent borehole collapse during drilling, among other assets. Chikyu can berth 150 people, cruise at 12 knots, and drill more than 7,000 meters below the seafloor in water depths exceeding 2,000 meters. Chikyu was damaged during the tsunami of March 11, 2011, and was out of service for several months. Chikyu returned to ocean drilling in April 2012. Mission-specific platforms ECORD commissioned ships on an expedition-by-expedition -expedition basis, depending on specific scientific requirements and environment. ECORD contracted the use of three icebreakers for the Arctic Coring Expedition 2004, drilling vessels diving for use in shallow Tahitian 2005, and Australian Waters 2010, where scientists sampled fossil coral reefs to investigate the rise in global sea levels since the last ice age, and a liftboat for sampling the New Jersey Shallow Shelf 2009. Mission-specific expeditions required substantial flexibility. Topic: <inaudible> Extending IODP to the science community. Publications, data management, online tools, and databases are in development to support information and resource sharing, so as to expand the ranks of scientists who engage in ocean drilling investigations. <laughs> Publication and data management IODP publications are freely available online and a data management system integrates core and laboratory data collected by all three implementing organizations and the two IODP legacy programs. A web-based search system will eventually aggregate post-expedition data and related publications. Requests for data and samples can be made online. 
Topic: Site Survey Data Bank (SSDB). A web-based site survey data bank enabled proponents to access and deposit the large amounts of data required to document potential drill sites for evaluation. This data was reviewed to assure IODP expeditions could meet their objectives and comply with safety and environmental requirements. Topic: <coughs> Core repositories. Three IODP core repositories located in Bremen, Germany IODP Bremen Core Repository, College Station, Texas IODP Gulf Coast Repository, and Kochi, Japan, archive cores based on geographical origin. Scientists may visit any one of the facilities for on-site research or request a loan for analysis or for teaching purposes. Archived cores include not only IODP samples, but also those retrieved in the two IODP legacy programs DSDP and ODP. See also International Continental Scientific Drilling Program JOIDES Basin